Hello my friends, last week we built and painted this strange looking crawler and today I am going to make some fun with base building. As you remember the model is already done as one piece so I need to prepare the bridge which I am going to build quite flat and straight to fit it correctly. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the photo was the problem of the material to build the bridge. The easiest way was to find the perfect pieces of branches and stick them together. I did so and together with my son I brought home a whole bag of sticks of different thicknesses. I was looking for the dried ones, mostly without bark and fortunately I found the tree where a lot of this material was on the ground. This made my work easier because the individual beams were similar to each other and in general it all made sense. After cutting them to length I glued them together using CA glue. It's worth having accelerator for CA for such work which makes work much easier. I immediately decided that I would do more than I needed because I am not limited in the amount of material and later I will have a greater possibility of adjusting the model to the surface. I built the main element, a piece of soil using pieces of foam and screwing them together with screws. It was definitely a faster solution than gluing individual pieces. We don't have to wait for the glue to dry and any corrections are easy to do because it's enough to remove the screw and loosen a specific element. I gave the appropriate shape by cutting the sides with a knife. It's worth having a trash bin on hand because there are quite a lot of ways in such treatment. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would be nice if you could leave a like and comment and also take a look at my other videos. If you are interested in what I do, you can also check my Patreon account where you will find even more interesting materials. This is the place in the net where I publish the most right now. Just for Patreons I prepare reports on daily work, articles, ask for their opinion and show films earlier than on the official YouTube channel. In addition there are a few other interesting perks of being a Patreon but you can see for yourself. I think you won't be disappointed and you will see what other projects I do from those shown on YouTube. So please consider joining to this superb group. You can find the link in the description of this movie. Installing the bridge in a block of earth wasn't a difficult task but it was necessary to spend some time cutting holes and setting the entire structure well. As you can see the protection is double because there are screws but also some glue. This is enough to hold the bridge well and most importantly the model that will be there in a moment. Next there are works copied from the achievements of Afghan builders. What we can see in the picture gives me clues but most of the structure is hidden under the bridge so I had to use my imagination to build a suitable support. After sticking to the wooden block that serves as a base, I started to prepare the mixture to make the ground surface. I added some plaster and water to the ready use AK products to create a thick paste. And I put this on the surface with a spatula.
I put balsa planks around making the walls and filled the whole thing with the remains of the foam. You probably noticed that I usually stick my bases with soft pads. I did the same now, the more so because the wooden block is a bit heavier than a regular frame. I used diluted PVA glue, fine sand and small stones to make the ground surface. I worked on certain surfaces to prevent the glue from drying out too much. In this way I prepared both the surfaces at the exit from the bridge and under the bridge. Additionally I threw some loose beams in there. When the glue was completely dry I painted the whole thing with green grey and brown shades. The paint was very diluted therefore it soaked well into the sand and colored the surface. I rubbed the whole thing with oil paint to sharpen the surface shape a bit. Individual stones or surface reflections immediately obtained greater contrast at the edges. A bit of wash did a good job too. Because I like pigments and at least for now I don't expect that I will give them up, they are also used on this stand. Both on the ground and on the beams of the bridge I gave the appropriate effects. All was protected with white spirit. Note that the bridge wasn't completely painted and it's one of the few moments when I use the natural texture and colors. I found it looking good enough and there is no point in correcting it. Perhaps if I had painted the whole thing the general view would be completely different but at the very beginning I found that the beams look very similar to those in the photo so repainting them doesn't make sense. In the finishing phase of the base I painted the balsa planks black with a mixture of paint, water and a bit of PVA glue. Thanks to this the surface of the board will be smoother because the glue will seal all unevenness. It's a good to apply two or even three coats so that the surface will be nice and well covered with paint. Due to the fact that the base has a lot of uncovered surfaces I prepared a few decorations for it. In addition to the inscription there will be also an Isaf patch, a German flag and a photo that served as a model. 
The patch and the photo are taped with uh, double side tape. The inscription is on the self-adhesive foil, so there is no problem with sticking it, just like with a flag. Of course, I had prepared the places marked with a pencil in advance. It's imperative that all these things are placed equally. Because I'm finishing this project with two episodes, I would like to inform you that this one will be published as a part of some big publication. At the moment when I'm recording these words, I don't know what it will happen, but when you watch this movie, maybe you already know something more. And this is how this project looks like when it's finished and ready for public presentation. I'm glad that I built this model because it was a nice but also strange project which for a moment took me away from tank topics. As I said in the summary of the previous episode, being weird makes it quite addictive. The collector is happy, I'm happy and thank you for watching this episode. Hope you had a good time. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!